Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan 3 vs Detective Conan the movie reaction. Okay, uh, the previous video uh, in the previous week that I did was about Detective Conan, uh, Rupan 3 vs Detective Conan the TV special. I reacted to that. If you've not checked it out, I'll be linking it down below. You can check that out if you want to. And so this week I'm going to react to this movie, which I think is uh, the sequel, uh, it's kind of stated that it is a sequel, like, you know, in my anime list, I kind of go to my anime list to check out the uh, animes and stuff. So it's written there that this is a sequel. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Will it continue from the TV special or is it with something else? Let's find out. Let's check it out. And yeah, let's see what this is about, how this is different from the TV special. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is my reaction to De uh, Rupan 3 vs Detective Conan, the movie. So, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Alright, so, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, let's see. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Whoa, okay, so this is the start. All right, what's happening? Some kind of an accident? Whoa! What the? All right. Oh, this guy, I, f I can't remember his name. It's from Detective Conan. Diamond. Okay, wait, who are they trying? Did Rupan steal it or something? Oh. oh wait no no it is uh, Kaito Kid I think most probably yeah it's Kaito Kid oh wow so Rupan is here Kaito Kid is here and Conan is here damn <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting Kid to be here. <laughs> oh boy, this will be interesting to see Rupan and Kid at the same, like, you know? Wait. Wait, that's Shinichi. How did Shinichi... Did he take a, the medicine again? And he said, who is that? So, no, 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 that's not Shinichi that means. Is that Rupan? I'm confused. Shinichi knows kid, so why would he say that who is that? Or maybe kid is Rupan. I'm confused. Anyways, let's see. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh no. I think that's a dummy or something. I'm sure of it. They're not showing the face. 
That must be a no, no. That is the kid. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Kid never shoots a gun. Wait. Is that an imposter? Or maybe it's Rupan. <laughs> maybe it's Rupan having kids disguise. Okay, let's see. Maybe this is Rupan. Oh! Ah! There he is! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Whoa, those, oh my, my god, those have explosives in it. <laughs> Damn, this started in such a... I think that's Rupan. I'm sure of it now. Whoa! Wow, what the? Ooh. Huh. Wait, another thing. How did he suddenly turn into Conan? He was in Shinichi's form. Like, so he consumed the medicine, I'm guessing, that Haiwara made for him. There you go. There you go. Oops. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Oh god. There you go, that's Rupan, that's not Kid. Okay, I, I thought, for a moment I thought Kid, Kid was actually in this show. Or maybe he will appear in this. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, oh my god, this is good. Okay. <laughs> this is giving an introduction of Lupin. <laughs> yep. Don't call me Papa. <laughs> Yes. Wow, you cut the moon in half. <laughs> yeah. And there we go, the <laughs> Oh my god. Now it's his own introduction. <laughs> Wait, Rupert is giving the introduction. Oh. Hmm. 
I, I remember this episode like I was so like you know I was really young when I actually watched this episode this first episode of Detective Conan where he gets like you know small it's been so long <laughs> wow Okay. Who the? Who's this? Bomb? Okay, what's happening here? Jerry Sapphire on her Fujiko is <laughs> hmm. Okay, so All right. Something's going on. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just imagine suddenly <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he put it in the bucket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing Zenigata is also going to come sooner or later. Oh my god, the quizzes. Okay. The pun filled quiz, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Lupin. This must be some pun. No. Now what's the pun this time? Sora Mame. Oh. Sanse, oh my god, Rupan Sanse. <laughs> Rupan, another pun, wow. Sanse. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Emilio. Oh. Hmm. 
Whoa. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Goemon is. No, uh, not Goemon, sorry. Jigen. What happened? Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mistakenly. It's challenging us, okay. <laughs> oh, he's here, okay, there you go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> text messages. <laughs> okay, uh, it's, I'm sure it's Takagi. Asato. Forbidden. Oh. Oh. Damn. Sato's like. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, whose car is this? Hmm. Oh, oh my god, it was him. Oh no. <laughs> well, yeah, let's let's take the public transport. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, okay, okay. So, this is how everyone's going to meet. Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> wow. Okay. The hell they have missiles? Oh no. I don't think it is. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> Wait, maybe this is Rupan, this guy in disguise. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. My God. <laughs> Five minutes. No, maybe he's already in. Maybe he's in disguise. Maybe he's in, he's in Takagi's disguise. Who knows? Yeah, there you go. He's already here. Oops! <laughs> oh. Wait. What? Um, I don't think that's possible. Yeah, okay. Wait, what? I, I think this is a bad idea. They're opening the vault. Now anyone can get in. I'm feeling as if it's Takagi. He's kind of, it's kind of, I don't know, like. It's not this guy, obviously, because he has the keys. It's either Zenigata or um, Takagi. No, I don't think it's Zenigata either. There you go. I knew it. It's Takagi. He was acting very weirdly. When he was like, you know, shaking the hands. Oh my god. I mean, he was kind of like, you know, doing, making the conversation as if to get in and check it. He was already always like saying that. Oh no, something's going to happen. <laughs> Wait, how the hell did she? Oh my god! That was easy. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Oh no, what now? Oh! Oh no. Stronger than stun gun. Great. I knew it was too easy to be. <laughs> oh! Hmm. 
<laughs> you know that's... <laughs> What happened to the original Tagi? Maybe he's like... Oh my god. Wow. Oh my... Wow. Oh! Oh lord, what is this? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Third Rupan. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> My god, look at this. <clears throat> what? Um what? <laughs> Oh my god. Call of the hunt. <sighs> oh, where did where is he? Oh my god, he's under underneath. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh my god, she's here. Damn. <laughs> oh god power company whoa oh no um oh Okay. Oh, Takagi is here. Um, is that really Takagi? <laughs> okay, it is Takagi, I think. Um, mm. Wait, is it really Takagi? I don't think so. Wait a minute. No, it's Rupan. Yeah. <laughs> I love his fake hand that he uses all the time. <laughs> How the hell did he... Oh, it's underground. Okay. <laughs> oh 
Oh no. Oh, c'è Sam. <laughs> Uh. Ok Wow Tooting his arm <laughs> Um, what? Yeah. Yeah, might as well go. Oh my god. Oh, great. <laughs> I, I, I'm having a bad feeling. What's happening here? Um, what? Okay. <laughs> Wait, why is he? What's he doing here? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, something's happening. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Wait, how did he get out of there? Like Sato handcuffed him, didn't she? <laughs> Wait, so Fujiko really was captured? Okay. Yeah, it it was her that they were talking about. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. Yep, I knew it. Yeah, I don't think this is. I think that is a real one. Yeah, there you go. I think that's fake. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so it is the real deal.
Ah, we'll see. So, what did Lupin do? Was that the real one or was is it something? <clears throat> okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so what's happening anyone's trying to kill him or something someone's trying to kill him um yeah <laughs> Yeah, me neither. Is that some kind of code word? What is that? Or some other... Oh, it's Italian. Yeah, there you go. So someone is... <clears throat> yeah, but I doubt that's so easy. <laughs> yeah, but it's not that easy. <clears throat> Damn. He's bad for him, like, you know, he doesn't. Like, he. Just because he's. That's a big star. Damn, the pressure. Okay, so this... <laughs> Wait, so... <laughs> ah! Yeah, it'll blow up. <laughs> um... Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. For my country. Like, okay. There's a lot of things happening at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, true. Huh? Oh my god, he's going to say something stupid. Oh. No, no, how? Why? Um... What? Wait, really? That is? 
Oh wow! Oh, great! Oh my god! You were, he was going in the right direction, but then suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he was correct that Rupan. Come on, yeah, not the time. But we have a case to solve, Rano Nechan. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Pa Papa? Wait a minute, what's happening? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, great. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, what's happened? Wait, is this really a Mario or like I'm kind of suspecting everyone because of the disguises, you know? Maybe it is him. Oh, oh! Yeah, if something happens to him, what? What's going to? Oh my god, is he still here or is he gone? Come on, look, look, look behind you if he's still here or not. Okay, he's still here. Uh, like, one thing's kind of confusing me. Like, he was so scared before. How? Why is he just like going readily to like is, isn't he supposed to be scared that someone's trying to kill him <laughs> oh my god it's papa oh papa i realized it i realized who he was talking about i was like who is he calling papa <laughs> Um <laughs> Lemon Pie <laughs> The way he <laughs> Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
What the hell? Oh no. Yeah. Well, good thing G um Jigen is here. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of feeling like I don't know. Like I feel. Evan is kind of acting weird. Like, isn't he supposed to be scared? Oh boy. Hmm. Dowsing. <laughs> yeah, anyone can just attack them. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. Oh, <laughs> Conan is in. <laughs> when did he get in? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. It kind of has because now that guy is with Ran and Sonoko. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that little parchment that Conan had was something from the Italian. Um, what? <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh my god, did they like... <laughs> they were like bulletin board and everything. Damn. Th <laughs> These kids will be become like, will either go to the police or the detective when they get up, uh, when they uh, grow up. Hmm.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he has some other plans. Um, um, okay. What the hell? Oh. Wait a minute, why the hell? Wait, is this? No. For a second there, I thought that was Kid or something. Oh no, no, it, it is real, the real Emilio. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Don't slip and fall. Boom! What type of a wind was that? Like... What? What type of a wind was that? Just... Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh my god, what is happening? Okay.
Ooh. Ooh. Damn. The quick draw. Look at that. Oh, that skill. Okay. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> I sometimes wonder like why they don't actually suspect anything even after Conan does these type of stuff. <laughs> well, thank you, Papa. Yeah. yeah, he was a little bit selfish, you know. Like, I understand that he's frustrated about this, but still. Yeah. Us? Us? So it's not only about him. Oh my god, this guy. Black market. And the sapphire. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I doubt that's that easy. <laughs> um. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, he was okay. It was him. Okay. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> so that's why he. Oh boy. Great. <laughs> yes.
Okay, what's happening? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Same place. Ah. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> I know what what he's he's <laughs> destroying the evidence. <laughs> that is nothing. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is going on, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the Brad's bratty friends. Oh my god, they're here already. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> brought him sweets <laughs> um <laughs> okay wow it, it spiked <laughs> okay <laughs> wow they did themselves <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. okay who is this <laughs> wow <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. I think both. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Those are the gadgets, yeah. <laughs> 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 what the hell? These like all the um, ammunitions and everything. Wow.
Normal weapons? What? What? Okay. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, she said that she's going to uh, return them. <laughs> What? Hmm. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Hybara. Okay, so Fujiko took Hy took Hybara with her. Why? What? What is this Keka Hudori? Yeah, <laughs> it's all like according to Keka. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, she knows. <laughs> Perfect the truck. Oh yeah, she wants yeah, she wants like to become Yeah. She'll become a kid. Oh. Damn, she knows a lot. Okay. 
Mm. Yeah, right. Okay. <sighs> oh boy. Oh. Running around? <laughs> hmm. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, who's? Who is this guy? I feel like I've seen him, but I can't recognize. Customer in the back. Oh. <laughs> no, not that. Yeah. What? He's gone. Wow. I'll have to check it out. I feel like I've seen him before. Like, I cannot. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, so the transaction. Okay. Lend it. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. So they went out through this. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, they're not here. Wait, that's Conan. <laughs> well, found the wrong person, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, who's the who's standing? Okay. Um <laughs> so who are, was he expecting? Oh, no war, no time. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <sighs> okay. Okay. What the? What the? So that uh, exchanging the yeah. Why? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, why was he confused? Didn't he ask for the cherry sapphire? Wasn't that what this transaction was supposed to? Wow. Oops. Okay. Oh.
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so wait a minute. King Gizzy does. Oh! Wow, they got played completely. King Gizzy does. Oh! Wow, they have a minigun. God. Oops. Ooh. <laughs> Minigun doesn't even do anything. Yeah. Oh, Zenigata is here. My God. There you go. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oops. And there you go. Wait, who? Oh, it's again. Wait, who? Then who? Oh, Jody's here! My god! How the hell did the FBI... Oh, I think Conan... Conan called them. Wow. Oh boy, the FBI is here, so... Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Wait, what was he doing? With his... Um... Wait, what? Wait, who the hell shot him? Who the... Oh my god, where did he come? Yeah, but wait, what? Why did he? Okay, what's going on? Why did Koran? Okay. Yeah. Um, no. Huh. 
Oh, Flea goes here. Wow! <laughs> well, at least we have a motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. She has... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, what's no? <laughs> oh, it's gone. Whoa! Oh, my God, did oh. <laughs> Oh. Well. Wow. Ah. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, Nani. <laughs> yeah, he... Yeah, people would have died if he did something there. Jiramba. Oh, some, some, okay, that's what he was actually saying. That, okay. So they needed the money. Um, well, thank you for breaking the door, I guess. 
of okay Oh God! Yeah. Oh my God! Is he hurt or something? Yeah, he's hurt. Wait, he got shot. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh. Wait. The Spaniards. Oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the one who left him. Oh, I kind of thought it was something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wasn't it? Yeah. Trying to get you, that was. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Yeah. It's, yeah, it's probably. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Wait, what's... Oh boy. Okay. Oh my god! Didn't... <laughs> Joe. Um. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, send so that the Okay. There you go. All right. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm sure they they jumped out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat>
Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Is she like going to? Yeah, she's gonna turn herself in or something. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Nothing happened. It's everything's okay. <laughs> He can... <laughs> um... Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's their submarine. <laughs> oh my god, the ending of the TV special. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, Yeah. 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 The drug. Wow. Okay, so it was connected to uh, the first, uh, the TV special, kind of, in a way. The whole thing, yeah, you know, going on. And, uh, yeah, so in a way, it is kind of a sequel, I guess. Like, not complete sequel, but, yeah, it is related. Now, now, one thing that this movie did correctly is the involvement. Like, the TV special was more like it was a Detective Conan movie. You know, like, Conan had more stuff in it. And Rupan was kind of like an additional character in it. But this movie kind of did it properly. Here we can see that, you know, Rupan and Conan, both of them are really involved. You know, in each and every scene. The, the TV special was more kind of like it was, uh, what can I say, like, you know, like the background characters, all of these, all of those characters, like, you know, the, the princess, uh, the, uh, the other guy, I can't remember the name, but they were more like, you know, they got a more of a spotlight and Rupan and all of them kind of felt like side characters. But here they, they really put attention to both Rupan and Conan. So, yeah, it felt as if they really are, both of them are important to the story. Okay. Okay, is that it? Oh no, some, oh, <laughs> it's showing both the movies, kind of. Okay, so, <clears throat> wow, that was good. That was a good, uh, like, you know, movie. And I, <laughs> for a second there at the beginning, I thought this would have Rupan, Conan, and Kaito Kid as well. Um, so I was like, wow, so how are they going to do this? Like, like in a way, Kaito Kid and Rupan both are 
kind of the same in a way in a way i'm not talking about you know the whole thing like kaito kid is a phantom thief that's a complete different thing than rupan you know so but still both of them are thieves so that's why i was thinking like wow how is it this going to go this will is this will be something like kaito kid versus rupan and conan will also be there kind of like you know it will be a three way or something but unfortunately we did not have kaito kid kaito kid just had a little appearance where rupan was basically disguised as him it was not even the real kid so yeah so it would have been really interesting if kaito kid was also involved in this you know <laughs> i would have loved to see both the dynamic between kaito kid and rupan so <laughs> yeah okay and <clears throat> actually a lot of characters actually gets involved in this and which i quite like like the whole of detective conan cast was involved also um what's his name uh whole of rupa's cast was also there and by whole i mean not only uh like you know ran mori and conan but also the detective boys um you know agasa hakase uh haibara uh, who else the police sato takagi okay this is something left <laughs> yeah oh well probably trying to steal something else <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I was just talking about this. I was just talking about this. Oh my god, is also here. Is this Osaka? I think so. Otherwise, why would Heiji be here? What? Oh, I was I was thinking like, wait, is there like a movie which it was written twenty twenty? I was like, wait a minute, do we have a movie where this Rupan versus Kaito kid? And then Conan was like, nah, it's, I'm just kidding. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just talking about this. I I was just saying that like how great it would be if we actually see kid versus. Rupan, you know, like I would love to see the dynamic. <laughs> and they just had to put this in the end after the ending credit scene. <laughs> I'm sure, like you know, like the like you know the uh, what again? The animation team also thought that you know what? I'm sure people will have this thing, you know, that why was kid not involved in this? So let's just you know, let's just put this in in the end. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, okay, that was funny. <laughs> all right so okay uh, so this movie as i was saying uh <clears throat> it is kind of related to the previous tv special and we were explained what was actually happening in the end and why that alan alan smithy smith i think that was his name uh why he was like what he was doing and why he was trying to get the money was for his own country and like i kind of felt about that and you know you know like uh, he kind of gave vibes like that like even when he like you know like uh, even in the beginning where he did not actually kill fujiko and kept like you know his promise that time and also like you know the next time where he like you know the whole thing with conan and everything like he was kind of acting not like a typical bad guy you know not like a typical criminal who just walk like you know like works for their uh benefit and just like destroys everything that uh does not uh, uh like you know affect him not he was not acting like that type of a guy not a typical bad guy he had like some morals and ideals so i was kind of thinking like okay maybe this guy really has some kind of a backstory it's maybe he's doing some stuff like this uh for some necessity 
for like you know something for some greater goal and yeah that's what like you know god uh like you know revealed in the end and we understand like why he was doing all, all this so anyways okay so this movie um so yeah the first scene obviously kaito kid which was obviously was lupan and <laughs> you know i i i i also thought that okay maybe this movie will be <clears throat> kaito kid lupan and Conan. But then, as soon as Kid suddenly pulled out a gun and started shooting, I was like, "Oh boy!" So yeah, this is not <laughs> this is not Kid. Kid doesn't use his, use a gun. Yeah, this this is, must be Rupan. And yeah, there you go. Rupan pops out, <laughs> and we get involved in this whole uh, like you know thing with Emilio and the whole like you know. Th- thing that was happening the they were planning on making the transaction when the concert will be on all that stuff and so okay so the first first thing was when uh what's what's her name sato when sato captures rupan so easily and that that scene really like you know like <laughs> like when they were thinking about like he must be uh, inside and he must be disguising as someone um like yeah takagi was obviously suspicious and i also kind of suspected zenigata himself i was thinking like wait a minute maybe like you know like who knows maybe zenigata is actually rupan this time you know like maybe he took zenigata's form but then like as 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 soon as we saw like you know takagi kind of acting really weirdly I was like, okay, it was Takagi, and I wonder, like you know, like um, there's a lot of Rupan episodes. I wonder if there was any episode or any movie where Rupan actually disguised as Zenigata, you know, like <laughs> it'll be kind of interesting, like he him disguising as the person who's actually trying to catch him, it'd be kind of funny. So I wonder if there is any episode like that. Who knows? Let me know if there is any episode like that where <laughs> he disguises as Zenigata. Uh, okay, and. Yeah, that was that was the whole the first part of the whole test that uh, uh, the guy was conducting to see if he is successful in it, and you know the whole thing with Fujiko and them tricking Fujiko, Fujiko getting mad, <laughs> all that stuff, and then we get mixed in with the whole Emilio thing where Emilio tries to run away from the everything and goes on top, and they get into trouble as they were falling down Conan saves them all that stuff and here is the part where we get to know everything from Emilio what's happening the whole transaction thing and um the threat letter now obviously the whole threat letter was kind of obvious you know because uh like he is the only one who would like you know want to stop the concert because he doesn't want the transaction to go through that's why he's the one who actually made that fake threat letter and yeah that was kind of obvious when conan found out the like you know the, the whole newspaper thing he asked the lady you know in the newspapers uh, like, you know about the newspaper and all that stuff so yeah and again <laughs> i love the fact that <laughs> conan again <laughs> starts tagging along with <laughs> Jigen, <laughs> oh my god it was like it's like the uh, what can i say it was like a combination that we also saw in the previous uh special and it kind of worked out really well the whole conan and Jigen combination <laughs> oh my god and uh, yeah then haibara gets captured all that stuff. now um I love the fact that during the whole Haibara section, when Fujiko was talking with Haibara, Haibara actually lectured her <laughs> about how whenever women fall into the clutches of the whole youth thing, you know, what did she say? Just a sec. That was like an interesting way she actually, like at first she kind of compliments her, says that I, the Fujiko Mine I knew was not someone like this. Yeah, you weren't like that in the past, right? Um, only driven by greed, uh, using a feminine charm to control men all over the world. Until you get what you want, you keep moving forward without turning back. A female thief. 
if a woman was captured by youth wouldn't that be the end <laughs> damn interesting like this whole conversation was really interesting because actually we as like you know listen to this from the pers- like you know from the person who has been the most affected by this like haibara or sherry like she is a perfect person to actually lecture about this stuff you know because she knows what the whole like you know like you know she she herself has been the um like you know victim of this so like like seeing how fujiko was all like oh like that drug i need it i i need to become youthful you know i think that probably uh, like haibara was kind of like you know not acceptable like, ex- like was unable to accept that because she knows the whole like you know thing the disadvantages of it and obviously like from her like you know words we can probably guess that haibara herself was a big <laughs> big fan of uh, fujiko and also the whole like you know the conversation it also kind of proves later on when haibara says that i have the same motorcycle as you have you know i also had the same model and that also kind of shows like you know like haibara probably probably also idolized her idolized fujiko that's why like you know she said that you were not like this before so interesting like damn like everybody knows about fujiko mine like what like not only haibara but <laughs> i think that uh, i forgot the guy's name and the one in the fbi with jody uh, you know i can't remember his name but he also said that <laughs> like he he also like you know knew about fujiko <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. And I I was really surprised at uh, Jody's sudden appearance. I was like, what the hell? Even the FBI got involved in this. <laughs> my god, Conan and his um <laughs> connections. <laughs> okay, one thing I really need to check out. Um Who was that guy? They called him King. Lupin called him King, didn't he? Like I don't know why but I feel I've seen him from somewhere. Where did I see him from? I cannot remember at all. Let me know like you know uh And I feel like I've seen him very recently. Is my memory this bad that I saw him and I forgot? I don't know like i think you can understand who i'm trying to talk about like the guy who rupan actually meets you know in that bar that was a bar wasn't it yeah that was a bar and like he i'm guessing he was also someone from the from the police department or something i don't know I think he is one of the pol- somehow involved with the police or something with the law because I this that face is very recognizable I cannot remember where I saw him but I have seen this guy before somewhere Okay Now like he tells him to actually go away from here this probably if he gets involved in this something bad would have happened that's why he bribed him with uh, <laughs> wait um just a sec okino yoko and fujiko oh wait maybe he's related to um just a sec Like I have seen him before. It's either from uh, Lupin or from Detective Conan. I think it's from Detective Conan. This guy is from Detective Conan. Like you know, uh, because uh, Lupin kind of bribes him with Okino Yoko's photos. So I'm guessing he is related to Detective Conan. Mm. Mm, must must be. But anyways, I cannot remember at all where I've seen him. But I. but i have seen him from somewhere but anyways uh okay that was that whole thing and
okay so next okay one thing uh <clears throat> okay okay this portion is kind of it got confused at it uh, the whole transaction uh the guy like uh, the the you know the the producer uh, what is this from the promoter i think that's they called him yeah that guy he wanted the sapphire and and this guy he brings out some kind of thing now i think this portion is kind of explained in the later portion where conan was talking with rupan okay just a sec okay i need to check this portion out again okay uh rupan tells him to fix the radar and the thing Okay, once I fix this, are you going to report to Vespania? Interesting. When did you figure it out? I figured out you were using Vespania's jewel early on. Wait, wait, what? Just a sec. Okay, I figured you were using Vespanian's jewel early on. Okay, so that Chase Sapphire was actually the Vespanian jewel. Okay, um, at the hotel, Jig and Daisuke was using, excuse me, uh, dowsing rods. Okay, what he was looking for with that was Vespanian's jewel, was jewel, right? I've seen it done in Vespania before. Okay, so that was the Vespanian jewel. Which just that it doesn't pinpoint it to Vespania. Alright. At that time, yeah. When he opened the case, wasn't it checked if it was real or not? By who? How? Jigen Daisuke was shooting microwaves at it. It showed small traces even though it was dark. Want to hear from the beginning? Uh, it must be a last deduction, okay. <clears throat> it's not even deduction, it was child's play. Okay, the one who left Jerry Sapphire in the bank for safekeeping was Wakagomo Ashin. Ashin. Okay, this thing, uh, the whole Wakagomo Ashin, I, was, I wasn't able to realize that it was actually Ishikawa Goemon. I wasn't able to uh, realize that anagram, but the next anagram I was able to realize that. And the name that was mentioned during the transaction, Kane Gejiraisu. This one I kind of realized that it must be Jigen, but I, I wasn't able to realize the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Jigen was kind of like, you know, like putting his hand on his hat at that moment. Okay, Wakagomo Eishin is Ichikawa Goemon. Ken Gejiras is Jigen Daisuke. These are anagrams, okay? <laughs> Can't you have done better? Uh, the detective was solved that. Okay. Alright. That means you went out of your way to chill the cherry, cherry sapphire. Goemon left. Okay. Furthermore, Jigen uh, Daisuke as Kane Gejidasu offered a trade and the cherry sapphire was a condition. Okay. The only person who can steal it was Rupan 3 that it, it was you. In other words, from the very beginning, your main objective wasn't the cherry sapphire. You got close to Alan, who was trying to get Vespania's jewel that was stolen. Wait, wait, what? Uh, 
and investigate who he was paying. Get it. Wait, what? Just a sec. This portion is confusing me. Okay, so first of all, uh, wait a minute. So what's happening? Like, so the Vespanian jewel was actually the cherry sapphire. That's what he's trying to say, isn't it? Then, what? Like then he's saying that the one who left Cherry Sapphire in the bank for safekeeping was Wakagomo Asian. Now, like this Cherry Sapphire that Conan is talking about is the Vespanian jewel, isn't it? That's what he said, that he used the, I don't know. Okay, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. What? That means Goemon put the Cherry Sapphire and like you know in, in the in the in, in that means in the, the place in the bank vault uh then going on using an ally, al alias used like like hired uh Al i think that was his name alan or, or what was his name i forgot you know hired him to get that jewel and this guy hired like like, like you know not hired but asked rupan to steal it what's the point like just a sec now, now here's the thing he says that this portion that means you went out of your way to steal the cherry sapphire going on left yeah furthermore jigen daisuke as Kain gejidasu offered a trade and the cherry sapphire was the condition offered a trade and the cherry sapphire was the condition in other words from the very beginning your main objective wasn't the cherry sapphire you got close to alan who was trying to get vespanius jewel that was and investigate who he was paying to get it And then your plan was to steal it. I still am very confused about this. Like, what's going on here? Like, okay, if that chase sapphire is originally yours, it should have a tracking device. Okay. Uh, Minifujiko becoming an ally to get the jewel back. The fact the jewel was stolen was posted online. Okay, yeah, here's the thing. Why would I steal back a rock that was already stolen? No, 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 this is not this thing. The thing that I'm actually confused about is the cherry sapphire and the Vespanian jewel. Like, oh god, I need to check this out from somewhere else. Uh okay guys i found something here okay um here's the thing <clears throat> the theft of the cherry sapphire is in fact a plot devised by rupan to expose both alan smith and luciano carneval by unknown means luciano has come into possession of a fragment of the vespanian ore which could be used for ultimate stealth technology to due to its disruptive properties and electromagnetic yeah Lupin was hired by Count Keith Dan Stinger on behalf of his queen Mira Vespania, uh, Vespaland of Vespania to prevent the ore from reaching the wrong hands oh Carnival is actually affiliated with various Italian mafia families and has been using Emilio's concert as a front for conducting his clandestine deals a fact which both Emilio and Corona it's been painful okay smith is revealed to be a patriotic agent for his current country gilanba which is currently undergoing a crisis of military suppression by neighboring country and would make use of the ore to offset that imbalance okay in order to intercept the ore lupan and jigen hand goemon dressed up as middlemen Kane gejidasu and asian wagagomo uh, who would relate this profitable opportunity to Carnival and arrange a meeting between the two men. The cherry suffice itself, a piece of Vespanian ore was planned in as a last resort for a clean getaway shooter. Okay, okay, so wait a minute. Okay, so so the the cherry sapphire was actually uh with Luciano. 
okay so yeah 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 that's what's happened well okay uh no wait just a sec then then why does conan say that uh the theresa fire was okay guys uh it took me quite a bit of time to actually realize what's happening i've been like you know kind of replaying the whole section for at least 10 to 20 minutes and finally i was able to understand this portion was explained in a very weird way which is quite difficult to actually realize what's happening especially while i was reacting to it so now that i've finished the reaction i kind of checked this portion out multiple times to actually realize what was happening actually this there's a few things that are happening which are really weirdly like told and it's really confusing okay so what actually happened as far as i understood was the thing that cherry sapphire was a thing which was brought in by uh, this guy um, Aishin Wakagomo I think that's him yeah Aishin Wakagomo yeah Aishin Wakagomo who is actually Ishikawa Goemon uh, like you know in disguise he gave the cherry sapphire in, in, in that vault and what Kane Gejidasu that is uh, Jigen did was he acted as a middleman for uh, Luciano but he was actually not the middleman he he never had any conversation with Luciano as far as I could understand he just went to Alan Smithy and told him that Luciano is looking for the cherry sapphire if you get the cherry sapphire we will actually uh, like you know trade you uh, the cherry sapphire with uh, the ore you know the the Vespanian ore and the, uh, like you know like Luciano s somehow was able to get hand on that uh, like you know on that ore now I'm not sure what Luciano uh, thought that Alan Smith would give him you know but it was definitely not the cherry sapphire because he got surprised when like you know when he opened the case and showed that here you go this is the cherry sapphire that he wanted Luciano was like what the hell what's this like uh, I never wanted this and he like you know took away the ore so what happened here is the cherry sapphire was like a trick that um rupan's crew set up you know they like you know put it in the like you know vault and they used rupan to steal it and like you know kind of went like became close to alan and told him to for the trans like to do the transaction and alan thought that okay like this cherry sapphire luciano is wanting that so i'll hire like you know lupan for this and he used lupan while falling into his trap at the same time this was all according to the plan it was going so he got tricked he got the cherry sapphire and he used it to for the transaction of the ore while at the actual scene where they were doing the transaction luciano got surprised seeing this uh, cherry sapphire because that's what not probably not what he wanted and you know like they both of them got tricked and at that moment um uh, you know like uh, uh goemon uh, not goemon jigen kind of used that x uh, that race to actually see whether it's um, like you know the original one or not and then the whole fight happened you know and this was what was happening and the whole thing the whole transaction why it was happening was first of all uh, uh vespania the queen you know the, the the girl who looked like Ran. I forgot his her name. Uh, Mira wasn't it? Yeah, Mira. Uh, she like uh, not she, but count that the, the other guy Keith Dan. You know he hired Rupan to go and like you know uh, prevent the ore from like you know reaching someone else's hands. You know and people might misuse it. That's why he hired him and Rupan because obviously because he was fond of the previous queen and also the current queen as well he actually went and made this whole plan up to actually see like you know what like you know like not see but use uh alan to get that ore for himself in a way alan stole it not stole but used it like tried to use it in the uh, transaction it failed and Rupan would have probably snatched that ore at that time but the whole like you know Conan kind of butted in and everything went into chaos 
and that's why like you know the like the whole next section happened when they were like like you know trying to flee using the uh, plane uh, and uh, that was what actually happened and this guy this alan smith was actually um, trying to get the ore for like you know because their country were actually under um like you know like uh military suppression by a neighboring country and uh he was actually trying to get hold of the ore because of his like you know stealth technology to try to um like you know get an upper hand that's why he was trying to get that ore and he thought that uh, luciano wanted the sapphire that's why he hired rupan to get the sapphire while not knowing that the whole thing was actually a trick made by rupan to actually see who has the uh, like you know who has the ore and like you know to get it for himself so that it does not go to some other country and uh, that was what was happening it this is a very complicated whole this thing was very complicated in a lot of ways which i had to like you know like i i spent like 20 to 25 minutes replaying each and every section to actually realize what was happening the the explanation was kind of weird in a way it was a very complicated explanation and the explanation was not only in one portion it was like scattered around in all parts and i had to like go back and forth to actually <laughs> realize what was happening i think that's what happened that's i think that's the basic gist of it now if i miss something let me know in the comment section you know because yeah as far as i could understand that's what happened damn this yeah like th this portion was really difficult to understand what was happening and uh uh, the thing that the, the thing that actually confused me was the cherry sapphire i was like why like at first i was thinking the cherry sapphire was actually the uh, ore and then I, the, I was thinking like then why is he using the ore to get another ore i was like this thing really confused me but as i checked out the portions again and again i realized the cherry sapphire was not the ore it was something else it was just like you know the thing that uh jigen uh Goemon brought in the ore was actually with luciano you know and it was actually the keyboard the, the keyboard scene also kind of confused me i was like what is he even trading it for for a keyboard and then he kind of picks two things up the the scene was so short i wasn't able to realize what he was showing it was actually the ore that he was showing and the the black ores you know not black but the brownish colored ores were actually uh, the keys of the keyboard i realized that later on like all these things kind of really confused me and i i wasn't able to actually understand what was happening until and unless uh the the reaction ended and i like you know like checked it out again now i think i'm pretty clear about what happened okay and obviously like you know since the chase of fire was uh lupans it had a transmitter in it that's why they were able to conan was able to track it and yeah anyways that was that what happened there and uh you know the whole thing with the italian mafia and all all that got like you know they were able to get away from that uh the guy was the guy died i think luciano yeah and emilio and the manager what was her name uh claudia emilio and claudia they're free now you know no more shady stuff hopefully will go on after this and uh yeah and in the end i think claudio was thinking that uh, the police were going to arrest her but megure was like oh did something happen i don't think so <laughs> like he like you know turned a blind eye to it uh, and he just let her go and that was nice and uh, yeah and then in the end <laughs> the whole thing went sh <laughs> like the uh, haibara promised fujiko with <laughs> promised fujiko with the uh, uh, secret of the drug but then she's like oh you're the one who actually taught me to betray people so yeah there you go taste of your own medicine i guess <laughs> oh my god that was funny and uh yeah that was it i think uh the the thing that I was really surprised about was the sudden involvement of Jody. I was not expecting Jody and the FBI to suddenly get involved in it, but Coron had to call them, you know, because yeah, otherwise it would have been a problem. And uh, yeah, that was it. And then the last section, we kind of see a little bit of how Kid also got involved and how, <laughs> like you know, like how. Uh, 
Lupin actually got tricked there. And we got a little, ca not cameo, but a little uh, appearance of Heiji as well. Heiji uh, comes in in the last scene. And uh, yeah, so I'm guessing that was actually Osaka. <laughs> and as always, uh, Zenigata is trying to catch Lupin. So. Yeah, that was it guys. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Rupan 3 vs Detective Conan the movie. So yeah, this was, this was great. It was a little bit difficult to understand, especially the end ending portion. But yeah, like I like after checking out multiple times, I was able to realize what was happening. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a, a great, like, you know, a great movie, it was like, you know, the actual, what do you call it? The secret, the actual thing uh that was happening was kind of done in a really kind of in a complicated but intelligent way the whole thing of what the plan actual lupin's plan was you know like what they were actually trying to do like you know using like fake middlemen to play both the both the you know like both the teams like not teams but both uh, uh alan and uh luciano to actually like you know get what he want was kind of really truly really intelligent and yeah like it <laughs> conan as always conan with his big brain he was able to easily realize that but for us at least for me <laughs> it took a little bit of time to realize but yeah that was it so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching okay so before um like, you know i end this uh next week i'm going to like uh, watch a rupan tv special again uh another this is another one which was recommended to me it is called rupan 3 uh island of assassins i'm going to do that next week so that's it guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of rupan so until then goodbye and have a nice day.